welcome to another Excel chat walkthrough video. I'm your host Kevin Kelly and today we're going to be talking about how to average a range of cells while ignoring blank and cells that are zero. So uh, this is a pretty simple video. It's basically just how to use the average function uh, when you don't want to include zero blank cells because that will obviously affect uh, the, the average that you get. So uh, it's a pretty simple video. It, instead of using average, we're going to use average if. And what average is if will ask for is the range, the criteria that you want to ignore, uh, and then it'll be able to spew out the average of all these numbers minus the zeros in the blank cells. So here's how we're going to do this. First, we'll see what it looks like using regular average. So we'll do average, and then we'll select our range of cells. Close parentheses. So that's our average, right? Our supposed average. That's just using the regular uh, average function. Now we're going to use average if. So equals average if. And in this case, we're still going to select our range here. But now we have criteria. So we're going to put quotation marks because that's how you put criteria. You're going to put a quotation mark. And then this symbol right here, there's greater than, there's less than, and then when you put them together, it kind of almost looks like uh, a diamond uh, that's you know sideways. And this sideways diamond basically means uh, ignoring zero. So if you don't want to count something, or let's say you don't want to count a five, you would put five. But in this case, obviously, we're going to put zero, and then we're going to put quotation marks. Now, the average if function also automatically takes care of the blank cells. So when you use average if, it automatically ignores the blank cells for us. So now we're going to put close parentheses and enter. As you can see, our number is significantly different because we've uh, ignored the zeros and ignored the blanks. And the average if function has automatically given us, you know, obviously a more accurate average, uh, not including the zero. So if you ever want to set certain criteria when you're averaging numbers, maybe you don't want to include uh, extremities, numbers greater than, you know, 100 when most of the numbers are between 10 and 20, uh, then this is a great tool to use. It doesn't always just have to be, um, you know, not zeros. It can be uh, anything that's, uh, let's say, less than zero, any negative numbers, things like that. Um, so yeah, this is an awesome tool to use. Um, and a super simple formula at that. Still have questions? Click to get help from a live Excel expert at Excel Chat.